hello and welcome to this video tutorial in the previous tutorial we tried to create a username request um, a username um, check using ajax um, in this tutorial what we are trying to do is autocomplete now there are many plugins available um, in jquery.com um, which are the present um, you can do that uh, you can do uh, establish autocomplete with that but then um, it is it would be great if you can create your own autocomplete custom autocomplete so we will be trying to create autocomplete on our own so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create an id a div of id say something like box and then i'm going to give it a style style equals uh, width width say 400 pixel then a height again 400 pixel and then uh, mm, i mean um, margin left is going to be auto and then margin right is gonna be again auto and then uh, I'll give a margin for the top margin hyphen top is uh, say 100 pixel and uh, yeah now after that I'll just close this div and uh, the next thing that I want to do is uh, create an input box over here input type equals text um, input type equal to text id equals um, input and then uh, yeah that's it now uh, I just go to uh, Firefox and see how the page looks refresh the page okay this is my um, input box so I'll just create a, a p tag and then instead of that I'll give an h2 tag this would be good enough enter the word I'll go back to Firefox refresh the page and I have is it refreshing yeah it is refreshing yeah I have entered the word now uh, the next thing that I want to do is um, start typing the script so the script is uh, really simple script type equals text slash javascript then close the script tag and then type in dollar document dot ready then inside that a function now if you don't know uh, if you don't understand what these things are then probably you should be looking at my some of the previous tutorial I mean this is basically looking if the document is ready dollar document dot ready if it is ready execute a function over here so I think I have an error over here because this function is not highlighted so JavaScript this is the reason okay now uh, the next thing that I want to do if the document is ready then check if the user has entered uh, any values inside this now the way I'm going to do that is uh, first of all I want to target that input box which has an ID of input then if the user enters something so when he enters definitely the is an event which is key up now once he leaves the key um, on key up we want to trigger a function okay now this is the function that we want to trigger now this ready key up mouse over all these things could be are called as event handlers now this is an event that is key up as an event key down is another event you could write the same using key down but then I prefer key up okay now um, now uh, the next thing that we want to do is once the key is um, up get the grab the value from this particular input box and make an ajax request this to this page I'll be explaining the code over here but make an ajax request to this particular page so we type in uh, th the next thing that we want to get is uh, we want to get the value from this particular oh. we want to get the value from this particular um, input box I'm really sorry I'm getting messed up okay so control C control V dot val will fetch me the value of that particular input box now I want to assign it to a variable I'll take it this as input now I have that variable uh, input and which will be giving the value inside this particular input I'll just alert this input box input 
and see what's gonna happen I'll go to Firefox refresh the page so I type in H and H is alerted I click on OK then type in A this is alerted so I type in R so I have uh, everything working properly so I get the value whenever I type something in it so that's what we want now the next thing we want to do is call an Ajax request okay so Ajax as usual will be going to Ajax uh, jQuery.com and then we'll be copying that a uh, little bit of function I mean an Ajax code I uh, am um, I've done this many times uh, okay this is basically the Ajax request I'll copy that paste it over here then okay now the first variable is type type is given as post over here we are not going to post um, anything so we'll give this uh, we'll delete this if you don't input any way anything over here as type then jQuery by default will take it as a get variable now the next thing is URL URL is uh, the page to which we want to send the Ajax request it is Ajax okay now uh, this is the page Ajax now the next thing is data data is uh, is is the value over here now the way we are going to transfer the data is uh, using a key and the key is um, as input and then we type in plus input and we paste it over here so what we have is an ajax request to this page over here that is ajax.php and the value that has been passed as input equal to what the person has entered now uh, yeah now we will make the ajax call if the ajax call is a success then the output should be stored inside this um, message or inside this variable msg and then we have uh, alerted this so this is what we are going to do now uh, we have uh, now we are going to run this and we'll see what's happening okay we'll open up our, our firebug and then open console and then we are going to type something over here so I have this Ajax request coming up, right? Okay. Now again, I'm going to type in something. Again, I have an Ajax request. So Ajax is working properly. Then I'm, now the next thing I'm going to do is go to the page which processes Ajax and then type in all the necessary required things. So the first thing that I've typed over here is nothing but the MySQL connect query, localhost root, and no password. And if it is not a success, then die could not connect. MySQL select underscore DB will select the database and if it could not select the database then it will give this error message. Now the next thing is input. Now I have I have uh, sent this data as input. Okay, The key is input. So I type in dollar request of data. It should be input over here. So I, I'll get the value sent through Ajax into this particular variable. Now the next thing that I've done over here is uh, simply uh, made the variable free of SQL ingestion okay the way I've done that is first of all I've trimmed that now if suppose if the variable had spaces it will trim all the spaces and mysql underscore real underscore escape underscore string will make sure that this variable is free of I mean harmful codes um, that can inject um, something like if uh, the person type in say drop table um, drop table table name into this particular um, input box the exact code gets in here and then when I run MySQL query my table could be dropped so I don't want that to happen so I do this MySQL underscore real underscore escape underscore string so this will take care of all those things so the next thing I want to do is um, write a query which will fetch uh, from the table uh, register okay before that let me show you the table okay this is the table uh, database and this is the same as I used in the previous tutorial this is a table name Ajax okay now uh, the next thing is a table this is the database name um, that is Ajax now uh, this is a table register and uh, I'll simply browse that and I have a couple of entries over here um, basically uh, there's a username and status and an ID these are the usernames so we are going to look for um, um, things which uh, which are similar to username so well the code that I've written over here is select star from register obviously this is the table that we want to fetch data from and then uh, where username like percentage input percentage now 
what this does is it will look for a username which is somewhat or which has something like input or something like the what the user has inputted into that input box then um, I mean the next thing that we want to do is run this SQL query fetch the data into this uh, data actually what we get over here is a resource ID it's not the data it's a kind of a, a pointer now we want to iterate it in a while loop and then fetch that data now I have created a couple of variables over here now uh, I've explained this um, these things in the previous tutorial um, if you don't understand what these things are then it would be great if you could um, have a look into the previous tutorial now um, these are very simple things uh, what I've done is that I've um, taken mysql fetch underscore asoc of this resource ID so it will take each row into this particular temp um, and then I've uh, done a for each loop and where I've split the value and the key I've done this because I, I don't want the values to be outputted without strip slashing. So I've strip slashed the values, then I send it back to the temp variable, and then uh, I've and that particular temp is then I send to another array which is called data array. Now this is really simple. I, it is kind of when I explain this, it could sound like it is really um, complicated, but then it is not complicated. It is really simple. Now once I have got that array, I've simply uh, done a printer uh, with that array so we'll go back to Firefox and refresh the page okay I I'll type in Harry or uh, H so it has given me um, a, s a printer uh, an array which uh, has H in it so the username uh, this has H in it and uh, this also has H in it so it has given me two suggestions okay now the next thing that I want to do is uh, instead of um, taking a printer I just want to create a list over here a variable called list and then I type in dollar I mean sorry I type in um, ul where we, we are going to create a ordered list and then I'm going to style it style I'm going to give a width of say something like 40 pixel I mean uh, 100 pixel then uh, height I'm gonna give it as auto okay now the next thing that I'm gonna do is uh, type in a for each loop for each for each data that I got for each value of data array I'm gonna split it as dollar val and then I'm gonna take this variable over here paste it over here then I'm gonna create an li tag okay now the reason why I put the dot over here is that it will it will add instead of overriding what is already present inside list it will add or it will happen to what is present inside list so I want to create an li tag then inside that I want to put this particular value of username okay so this should make sense I mean this is kind of self-explanatory so okay now the next thing that I want to do is um, and the ul so I type in um, copy this list then place it over here then I'm gonna end the ul tag slash ul okay now I'm gonna echo this out. Echo dollar list. Oops. I don't need inverted commas when I echo things. So yes, I'm gonna type in H. So the error that I have is on line 34. It is okay. I'll see what the error is on line 34. 34 dollar val dollar data. F okay, here is the error. Then put a semicolon okay now here also another error so I'll go back to Firefox refresh my page and then type in H so it gives me some kind of a code over here which I'm not able to understand so uh, what I'm gonna do is instead of um, alerting things I'm gonna type it I mean I'm gonna create another div just beneath this or uh, div 